scrolling through the list, Adam. They're not yeah, Bond yeah. Heroes. It's not Bond Phoenix. Okay. Oh, okay, no, Clockwork, okay. There's a goal, it's again the clock. And this is a similar yeah, line. Pretty much, yeah. Like, yeah, you, it is. You have the Storm Furion plus Abu? the Isle. Battery Assault just keeps on ticking, and they aren't going to be able to get the first blood. Oh, low five Slark go off kill at top lane. Lands the pounce onto Pelosin with a zip in from Makoto. Easily picks up one, and he's got Arcane. So, yeah, he easily gets the second one in mid and top. Have had to rely on the same hard camp. His Ember Spirit did it too in order to get his level six. So he already cleared through the uh, stack there. Jab's being run down to Sprout. Not going to be enough, I don't think. They're going to keep sight on him. <laughs> to be able to keep some distance, but it means you can think about them. Really nice use of the cogs. Chidori getting the side blade hits and does TPs. eventially get the kill on a Q. Chidori goes down the TP out. Oh, but Makoto runs him down first. And now he's got the guy to help join him. So once again, Makoto TPs a, a small bit of aggression from SMG and just immediately Makoto's down to, to counter it. And of course, it's Mech Isle. Never bad. I mean, that talent is just... This is looking like yeah. this much of a lead this early to this, these storms. They this gang to work. They've got the cookie. Okay, the two-man chains. The cookie doesn't work. They should be able to kill Ollie here. But just the one doesn't feel great. Overcharge echoes. Who cares? Because you also have the mana region. He was going to die to the kisses, so he used the hook shot in desperate maneuver. Does end up dying, but hey, he does a little damage back to him at least. You move forward at just the right time, breaks the smoke, and as a result, Jabs is going to be able to get away from this one. In fact, they're going to try and have a rebuttal here, and they catch off who trying to TP out, so. Breaks the smoke, big, but as you said, these relocates are pretty low committal. Makoto and Ollie can just keep going, and they've got Vision of the Templar Assassin. They will beat down Chidori nice and quick. Maybe not so quick, actually. Chidori somehow still alive to get off the Primal War. He kills the Clockwork, and Makoto is low on mana. I don't know if he can commit to this anymore. In fact, 23. He's cutting in from the sign, but it's just a bit more. Kiss yeah. is coming in. They're going to try and pick off Q, and they've got him. But relocate coming in, and they're going to zip on out. Chidori turns around. Maybe this is a pole. Oh, no. Catch him and blow him up. Okoto's dead. All he's going to follow him into the grave, the same ditch is going to be their shared grave, it seems, as 23 is just going to get out of here. On the jump, even if he gets it. Oh, you know Makoto wants it, though. He's going to zip in a little bit off the timing, but the Roshan dies, but he's immediately stunned up. Chidori oh, picks up the Aegis, and they got the relocate out. Okay, that, that was, was better coordinated from Radiant Talon than I expected. Well played. Attack. Yeah, I was thinking, okay, you can reload him out maybe after the Aegis, but the reload timing is beautiful from all of here. Car, <laughs> like he, like you could just have this this clown car where they just go around together, the running over evidence people. lying around in the <laughs> street, Who shot cool. and a pounce at the same time, but he gets four staff and gets the jump away after the pounce is broken. Now Pelosin is going to be left behind though, so his saving grace is ink showing mid, but it's just a clock. He does not care about this. They're going for Chidori right now. He was going to die in the mid. This is, I think you just force the tier two because you're all up here. Or you're just gonna get jumped. Beautiful hook shot. What Damn. a jump in. Okay, that's gonna be the Aegis down. Oh, Cookie, that oh, just puts them slaughter. all together. Talon, they absolutely slaughtered SMG and they're gonna be able to kill the TA twice for their efforts too, so. There's no easy answers in a game like this. Almost in TP down here, do they know he's, they don't know he's here. 23 is going to start on TA top, and again, TA is just getting melted. Just has no options against this initiation, this global range that they effectively have. They didn't even map so quickly, and when they find somebody, boom, in an instant, there are multiple heroes there. And this is why Furion is a first phase pick. This hero enables this type of gameplay more than anything else in the game, because he's the strongest lane shove, and the best at abusing economy with the open space. And they're just playing it like a team. There's just nowhere to run. Moon getting caught at the end there. He does have a remnant up to the high ground. But Slark is going to chase after him. 23 doesn't want to let him die. He couldn't actually burn the mana quite quick enough. So 23. Actually pulled back. He still, he still counts. He got him. Okay, he got him. He does still have... Oh, no, he ran out of mana. No, he barely gets the mana in time, but he's... 
How can they finish him off jabs with his BKB? Uh oh, he's gonna get it running out. out. He got pounced again. Oh, the pounce landed again. <laughs> Wilson, that was the best pounce steal I have ever seen. Usually this spell slipping up a bit. Ow, that was a big slip up from Talon. That was huge. Good shot with the relocate or staff gets him to the other side of the cogs and pushes him farther away. Of course, there is <laughs> has destroyed in game two and three here. Yeah, Ollie has not missed. Very true. Keeping that BKB alive for Makoto, who still has eight seconds. Jump in TA. Well, sure gonna come in, but once again, Flosin is here with the telekinesis, but it's not good enough. They brought Jabs his extra firepower and it makes it. Oh, so easy to pick up that kill. Meanwhile, mid lane 23, hooking up a potential Beastmaster kill here. Gets that one pretty easy. First moon to use it. Jabs I don't know if you know what's waiting, him. son. Gets a glide mirror, and he goes back straight to the arms of the Slark. They hit him with the... Oh, he missed. he missed the pounce. Okay, he still hit him with the cogs, though. In the second round of cogs, he's out of mana. Oh, no. What a cogs from Q. I'm not even sure how intended that one was, but now Afu uh, trying to help out is going to just be met by five Talon heroes. He's a monster. I don't know if you have the damage for him. They're going to try. Telekinesis throw down the cliff, oh, but Makoto is already there to done. be able to run interfere and stop mid one from being able to get a good more roar off. The hook shot onto the sign, catch oh, the roof. Roar. He managed to hit the stun onto Makoto, but they just cannot do the damage fast enough. Chidori is disarmed. The kisses only do so much, and that's a team wipe. Roshan is up. Honestly, I'm Does it shift good. enter GG enter? Oh, that's not a move. Oh, he has an axe. Negative oh, scepter from right. Makoto caught to the Slark. Bouncing through. SMG actually doing a really good job of uh, being able to get away from that. Nobody actually died. Yeah, not too bad. A little bit low on mana. Of course, he does have the Aegis. Time for round two. SMG healed up off the fountain. Helping in. Makoto jumped. Another two, man. Again, on to two. They got the bounce follow-up. Can they finally finish up these heroes? They do. They killed the Templar Assassin. He does have a buyback. They'll no plan for it though. Buyback goes out now. Moon trying to finish off and does manage to get the Aegis down from the Slark. Both shot coming in, catches Moon and does finish him off. He does not have a buyback. 23 is just going to run through these heroes. They see Chidori. That's going to be a dieback on him with nobody else having buybacks at this point. It is going to be GG from SMG Talon. Rampage. With a rampage for Jabs. Why not? Jabs. Honestly, I was about to say Jabs Furion has looked really good in both the games. I really like he joined the proper fights. He wasn't wasting much of time. He was getting super farmed. We didn't really